All right, guys, so I got parts coming for this now. After I got all done with my wife's car, um, this one's mine, but uh, hers started leaking at the rear main seal. Uh, so I got to take the trans out of it again. And this is the engine, the used engine I got for that. You guys were watching that. I know I have several people watch that have TDIs also and are watching the build on this truck. So we'll get back to that in a second. I just ordered the CP3 kit for it. And that'll be, I'll be changing out the fuel pump on this engine so that this will be pretty much bulletproofed out. And I also got the oil pump because this is a C, CBE engine. See, people will see CBEA, but it's actually CBE is the numbers. And so is the CJA is CJAA. So it's actually just CJA. The A is the other A is the horsepower. So anyway, um, I've got the pieces coming for this. Um, I'm waiting for those to come so I can start back working on the Steiger. So I can work on this guy for just a little bit here until I get my parts here. Might be a few more days before they come. So I guess well, what should I do next, right? You guys, there's so much to do. I uh, mean, kind of burn out of that roof. Maybe I'll just work on this for a little bit. I'll take the rubber out of these, get these all prepped out, maybe get them ready to paint. Well, there we go. I give you some ideas there, guys. Got a little paint on those. I figure I can get some of those parts put away. Yeah, I'll finish up the welding on the other one. Didn't get a chance to film this because it's getting dark, so. Anyway, just got the little clip for you guys made this little thing here goes like that right i'm just gonna fix the one side these look they're kind of weak but they'll work you know they don't do much it's 
got that little thing all weld that on. Take a look at it. I'll just trim that off to match like that. Put one next to the other one. Cut off with a cutoff wheel. Clean that up once it's in. Once I put it in, I'll just drill it. Get done with it. I'll drill it afterwards. Yeah. Hopefully everything will fit together. Sure it will. I made it just a little bit shorter than the other one because it's much easier to make it shorter than make it longer. I always put a longer bolt in. If it's too short, too long, it'll be really hard to get on. So I thought well, I'll just make it just a hair short, just in case. All right, let's do some assembly. I'm going to show you guys where I get this stuff, and uh, real quick, uh, Eddie and Dave's Garage has this these door kits for everything for your doors that means everything for about half and i can't say the exact price because i don't really know what it is but i know it's half of what every other place has it for so what you pay for one door in most places you get both doors from eddie and Dave's garage for the rubber kits for your doors um, so it's really worth checking that out um, this is including everything. So, I got everything in a Disney bag. Okay. Um, so, you got these, both of these. This is both the rubbers. Um, you get the pieces. These things go on the tops of the door. And they have the pre-cut cut holes in them, usually when when they're available sometimes they're not last time i had to get a set and i had to cut them out myself from eddie because the other ones weren't available because the pandemic the place was closed the hat he gets in front and then he gets these beautiful west coast metric ones um i think they're better than the wolfsburg west he gets these and includes these in the door kit so you get everything guys um, these are extra, of course. You know, you don't get the latches. You gotta pay for those. It's not, this is the door rubber kit you get. But I got new black ones like the original. They're all made by Wolfsburg West. All the good ones. So it's all the top quality stuff that you get everywhere else, that you get somewhere else. But you get everything. Now, it usually gives me to the little plugs for the door um, this one didn't have a door handle um, rubber little pieces that go behind the rubber uh, behind the door handles but it does come with these these are the uh, you can see that these are for the vent wings so that little piece there and then it has these are for the dividers so everything everything you need for your doors and it's about half of what everybody else what like if you go to uh, for instance, Wolfsburg West, any of the big websites, even SIP1 or whatever, it's about half the price. So if you're looking for a good deal, Eddie and Dave's Garage always has those. Um, so check him out for your door rubber. Let's part, start putting this together. Oh yeah, there was one more thing. These for the door with rubber. So Eddie and Dave's is a sponsor of the channel because he gives me a discount a little bit, not much. Okay, there's not much markup on this stuff. Um, but the reason I started, I used to go to him before that. And the reason I went there and the reason I'm telling you guys about it is because he always had the best prices and he's a fair guy. He's never done me wrong as far as anything goes. So he's uh, he's became a friend over the years uh, because because of that. Anybody who does stuff right, I always, you know, stick around. You know, that's the way I look at things. If they do things the way I like them to do them and they're fair people. I always... You know, friendships happen that way pretty easily. So anyway, let's move on. You guys notice how I got this clamped up here, right? It's soap and water. Old saying, get it wet before you stick it in. <laughs> Just for you youngsters that uh, don't know that one yet. No, I'm just kidding.
And let's try this again. I put it on backwards once. Busy watching camera angles and not looking at what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Right, I bet you're wondering how I assemble these. I'll just show you real quick. It's, it's impossible for me to do on video. But, see this is the old rubber. I'll do this really carefully. I'll try and save the old rubber. If it's good. Sometimes it's just, there's just no hope. And then I just use silicone. It's really hard to put the original stuff, the reproduction stuff back in. And what I'll do, is I'll show you a demo real quick. All right, so I'll take 
this on end and I'll take soap and I'll just spray it. I just use the glass cleaner or whatever. This has, it's really slippery. And then I just take my dead blow and I hit it right here. Carefully, you know, it's all, you, it's all subject to, you know, that's how I do it. I'm not telling you how to do it, but it works. I get the old, that's what we did the Westphalia. On my other ones, I usually, I used to just um, use silicone to put them in. Because I couldn't get them in. I, I, well, some of the other ones I had, I didn't have the old rubber. So, um, little trick I learned there. So then I just cut away. Some of it, it doesn't line up exactly right. I'll just cut away where this didn't line up. And then I'll take, you know what I'll do is I'll take some black silicone where the rubber kind of broke. I'll just take some black silicone and shove it in the crack there. And then clean it all up. So it comes out pretty cool. It's all original rubber on there. Make sure you put that thing on the right way. How many times I put that on backwards? I put it on the wrong side. I put it on this way. And then you got to look at this little trick there. So, because once, uh, and you can put it on with these things too, which you kind of put these in place and then hammer it in, but it's a lot harder. And so I just do it without them. Anyway, cool, original. All right, so maybe you're wondering how these go on. This one goes on between these two. Well, both of these do actually. But that one, the, the just round one below it. Assembling these, there's no easy button. That's why I can't film it. It's just too hard. It takes too much time. I gotta stop every once in a while to go do something else. I've got too many things going on right now, so I can only just work on this thing piece by piece. Anyway, you get that in there like that. And I gotta get that in the hole, and it's not wanting to line up. So I'll bring it back in in a second. I don't believe there's one of these washers. I don't know, I got a couple extras there, so I'm not sure. And one of these. Here. Okay, then we put the little keeper thingy on. Right here, our nut. I like to put pretty good tension on there because I like to use my wind wings. I think all of us do. No, it's not. I want to start there. Yeah, I think I got it. All right, tighten it up. Anchor down. Make mine pretty tight. Check it out, make sure it can move. A little too tight. Let's back it off a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Crimp those guys down. All right, crimp these baby down. Good enough. Just right, put my root in up high. Well, I'll just put in a little bit of rivet for now. It's just gonna get replaced here pretty soon. I just put it in there temporarily. And then uh, I'll replace that with a stainless steel rivet. They have those other kind that you hammer down and stuff. You can 
you guys want to handle that, you can. It's kind of hard to do right there next to the glass, so I don't, I never use those. I don't think a lot of people do. Anyway, that's it for that. Well, at least those were assembled. I still got a lot of work to do here. Uh, maybe I'll just make this video like this, simple video. I still got all this to do. I cleaned this out a bit more. And it's so bad. Yeah. It's just so rotten. I'm going to have to cut like right here across and then make a new piece for that. It's going to take a lot of time. So that's why I went on the windows right now. Uh, get on this next, I guess. I just wanted a break from all that. This was driving me nuts. All this stuff. Right here. Anyway, you probably can't even really see it. Anyway, that's it for that. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see if we can get some better videos done on this thing. I, I got a lot of ton of work right now, so I've been just too busy. I don't have time to work on this thing much. But we'll be talking soon. Talk to you in the next one.